Hello, Good Vibe Fire Tribe. This is Therese Firewoman with Good Vibe in Five, sharing ideas and insights for allowing a good vibe, shifting your vibe, and living life on fire in five minutes or less, five days a week. For more about what we do and why we do it, visit our About Good Vibe in Five video. But for now, my friends, walk with me in this beautiful park, which is, by the way, Lowry Park over in Tampa, Florida, United States. Had to come back and film here again. And let's take our three slow, deep breaths. Let's breathe in right here. And exhale. Another slow, deep breath in. And exhale. Feel your neck, shoulders, muscles relax. And one more slow, deep breath in. And exhale. And join me in this intention, my friends, if you like. Thank you for helping me easily and naturally recognize and focus upon the good that is. And to move onward, upward, and forward to the good that is always becoming. And I like to add, in truth, the good that I, you, and we have already created together. And thank you for helping me share the ideal message and ideal words, short and sweet, to benefit the greatest number of people today. And look at this papyrus here, guys. How cool is this? So just recently, we actually participated in a conference hosted by the ARE. Um, Edgar Casey, if you're familiar with him and his life and all of that, each year they have what's called an Ancient Mysteries Conference. And this year the focus was on Ancient Egypt. So how awesome that we were just thinking about that, just thinking about Egypt in general. And here's this beautiful papyrus. How cool is that? Ah, so today I want to encourage something really fun and I think even those of us that might be in denial of it <laughs> Egypt denial get it haha -ha. every single one of us have some little tiny seed in there somewhere of a gypsy spirit there's a part of us that wants to explore and no I'm not talking about stealing and any of that crap that is unfortunately out of balance gypsy kind of stuff but that part of us that wants to engage the adventure of life that part of us that wants to seek out new life experience new civilizations and boldly go yeah star trek people you know what i'm talking about ah so i want to challenge you today give that part of you an outlet and an opportunity to do something, anything, to step out of your day-to-day -day life. Get in your car and drive a different way. If you go for a walk, even in your neighborhood, or you feel like that's all that you've got and you can't go anywhere else for whatever reason, or you're just, you know, you're limited due to your government or whatever it is, take a different route. Walk in the opposite direction try a different food go to a different restaurant or order to go if you're in you know lockdown mode from a different place just go do something and go because that part of you if you don't actively give that part of you a way to express itself it will eat you alive because life is meant to be enjoyed. Life is meant to be experienced. And yes, we have this wonderful technology that allows us to be armchair, tra armchair travelers and all of that and see life through other people's eyes. But friends, each one of us is entitled to experience life for ourselves, and honestly, our own experiences. That is where we get the greatest joy and the greatest insight about life. Always more to say, but here's to awakening and feeding your gypsy spirit and to living life on fire. Good.